Hey friends, if you encounter the error code 0x8007-0005 on Windows, then please watch this video. I will guide you through the resolutions. So the first solution is to give permissions to the file which you are not able to install on your system. Now, I'll tell you something very interesting about this error. It occurs in two cases when you're trying to install a file from an installer file and the second one during Windows update, but it's rare for Windows updates and more for that file issue. We have an installer file here. Here's what you'll have to do. Right click on this, select show more options, select properties, go to the security tab and then click or uh, select the uh, your account here. For example, I'm using this account to log into my system. You can judge it by the email ID. Click on edit. Now you will have to make sure that it is allowed. Now in my case, full control has been uh, given. So I it is selected at allow. If not, this will be unchecked and you will get an option to check it. Now click on OK and then click on OK once again. And then you can try launching it. The second solution is to run this file as an administrator. So right click on the start button and select run uh, as administrator. I mean, right click on that file and select run as administrator. These are two cases, but there's one more case. What if an external program is preventing it from getting installed on your computer? Right. Let's say that you want to install a security software, but there's already another security software on your computer, which is preventing the installation of the new one. So uh, uh, you might not know which program is causing this problem. If you know it, then you can uninstall it or restrict it. But uh, if you do not know it, in that case, you can perform a clean boot on your system. Search for system configuration in the Windows search bar and open system configuration. Go to the services tab. Check the box associated with hide all Microsoft services. If any of the services check, click on disable all, click on apply, OK, and finally restart your computer. And last of all, if the issue occurs with the Windows updates, then you can run the Windows update troubleshooter. Right click on the start button and select settings from the menu. Now go to the system tab on the list on the left hand side. In the right pane, select troubleshoot, click on other troubleshooters and click on run corresponding to the Windows update troubleshooter. Was this helpful? If yes, then please subscribe to the channel and if not, then let us know in the comment section of the video on how we could help you further. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.